Sepultura was a big part of my life in the late 80s and through the mid 90s and I still jam them pretty regularly today. To give you an idea on how important they were to me, um, I have a lot of tattoos but uh, the Sepultura Tribal S is the only tattoo of a band that I have. So when I saw Max Cavalera was on Cameo, I was like, yeah, I definitely need to have a Cameo from Max. I'm sure a lot of you aren't familiar with uh, Max Cavalera and Sepultura, so I made the beginning of this video to familiarize y'all with Max Cavalera. He's been in a couple other bands, uh, Soulfly and currently with uh, Cavalera Conspiracy, but Sepultura was the one that struck the biggest chord with me, so that is mostly what I focus on in this video. new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when new content is uploaded. The band was formed in 1984 in uh, Belo Horizonte, which is a small city in Brazil. And uh, from the beginning, just me and Igor, the drummer, we uh, just, just we are in the band. violence of the country, aggression, it's, it's, uh, we, we, we feel that really strong in our life and then that's the kind of music we like to play, more violent music. Yo, welcome back to the mighty Manic Headbangers Ball and I'm joined now by tonight's special studio guest, Max Cavalera of Sepultura. In the original video that I made of this, I had put some of Sepultura's songs in here, my favorites, and uh, when I uploaded it to YouTube, it got copyright claimed, which usually isn't a big deal. A lot of my stuff gets copyright claimed, but all it says is that I can't uh, get paid from it, and whoever owns the rights will get paid for it. Um, this time, the copyright claim meant that it was blocked, and I it would not show the video at all if I left the music in it. So. There will be no more studio version music in this video. I apologize. Hi Max, thanks for joining Hi. us. Now, I bet 18 months ago you never dreamed you'd be playing Rock in Rio. Are you surprised how quickly things have happened for you? Yeah, I think, you know, since, since the two years from, since we released Beneath the Remains, uh, a lot of things happened for the band. And I think the, the, the biggest thing was Rock in Rio, be able to play in our own country for like 100,000 people. Mm -hmm. It was really uh, natural, the whole album process. No pressure? Yeah. Even everybody thought we have that pressure to do a good album and stuff, you know, because of of our eyes, you know, being so successful. I, we didn't feel that, that much pressure. We did what we wanted to. This is my favorite song, Slave New World, that I had featured in the original video, but it also was part of the copyright claim that caused the video to get blocked. I think the basic ideas from, from everything that we wrote on this album comes a lot from the from the touring and uh, it's not really that we wrote stuff on touring, it's more that we we see a lot of things and uh, travel a lot in different countries which gave us a lot of knowledge to talk about different topics. So mainly on lyrics and stuff, we learn a lot from touring. The following are a couple of uh, quick interview clips uh, that Max made while he was with Soulfly. Um, why we decided to buy this house was <coughs> we were not really looking for a house. Oh, I see, but still, it must be uncomfortable in a way. It still is a little bit, uh, even though it's much better now and I'm much more calm with the guys. I, I like them, I know how they play. And How then, how did you discover metal music for the first time? Like, do you remember? 
the first the first band or the first record? We always, you know, we had Iron Maiden and everything, and we love it, you know, definitely. Uh, Here's a more recent interview with Max that he gave while on tour with his latest band, Cavalier Conspiracy, that he formed with his brother, Igor, who is the drummer. Uh, last time, I, I don't think it was that long ago, you know. I think it was, it was uh, September 2019, yeah, just the like, last part of last year. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, so this is like a continuation of the, the ritual tour. Um, it's been really kick-ass. You know, we Toxic Holocaust on the bill now. It's yeah. a really cool, great band to tour with. And when I think of Texas, I think of um, Pantera, of course. And finally, here is what you all have been waiting for. The cameo that I received from Max wishing me a very metal Christmas. Hello, Matt. What's up, my brother? Max Cavalera here. I'm wishing you a metal Christmas and a metal New Year. Let's go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Merry New Year. Yes, Matt. Let's go with some Slate New World from Chaos AD, specially for you. The enemy step inside you. Control your thought. Destroy, destroy them all. Yes, leave the world, my brother. Listen, man, have a greatest, greatest metal Christmas ever. And 2022 is gonna kick ass. I will see you on tour, all right, my brother. I am Max Cavalera, your metal brother for life. Oh, dois, tres, what? Let's go, Matt! Thank you for watching, and thank you to Max Cavalera for the cameo. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time.